Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and end up enjoying today's content, all I can ask you to do is to go ahead and hit that like button and red subscribe button as well. You can also follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss, same thing as the YouTube username. And there you can send me direct messages if you have any questions about any video or any roster update predictions of your own. Also, I want to ask you all, if you're watching this, end up enjoying today's content, to also support the other content on the channel, including the Battle Royale runs and all of that. It would mean a lot to me. But anyways, let's get into what you're here for. So, it's Pitcher's Edition Sunday, and we're going to start off with Trevor Bauer. Now, a bunch of you have commented about him, and I told you guys that the only diamond I knew for sure was Cody Bellinger, and that was because Trevor Bauer had to make a start against the Astros. Now, he played against the Astros, and he had a phenomenal game. So I have him at a 100% to hit the minimum of an 85 diamond. Now, I see his hits per nine going up, his Ks per nine going up, and home runs per nine going up. Now, you might be wondering why. Well, we will look at his three-year averages, and his hits per nine three-year averages has been an 8.19, K per nine a 9.72, walks per nine a 3.09, and home runs per nine has been a 0.9. This year, his hits per nine is a 5.31, Ks per nine is an 11.57, walks per nine a 3.58, and home runs per nine 8.55. So 85 plus is what I see. Next on our list, Herman Marquez. Now, his three-year averages are a hit per nine of 9.06, Ks per nine of 9.27, walks per nine of 2.64, and home run per nine of 1.21. This year, his hits per nine is a lot better, being a 7.15, his Ks per nine have suffered a little bit, being an 8.54. Walks per nine have increased a little bit, being a 2.31. And his home runs per nine have also increased a little bit, being a 0.92. I see his hits per nine going up, walks per nine being upgraded minorly, and the same thing goes for his home runs per nine being upgraded minorly. I see him hitting an 80 overall gold. Next on our list is from the Miami Marlins. His name is Caleb Smith. He this year has been phenomenal. Hits per nine is a 5.28. Ks per nine is an 11.48. Walks per nine, 2.17. And home runs per nine, a 0.93. Comparing that to his three-year averages are hits per nine is a 7.88. So this year he's doing way better. Ks per nine is a 9.94. This year he's doing way better. Walks per nine is a 3.94. This year he's doing way better. And his home runs per nine is 1.31. So in every single category, he has increased big time. So I see his hits per nine being increased, case per nine being increased, walks per nine being increased, home runs per nine being increased. And I have him hitting 79 overall at a 60%, and I have him going up to a gold at a 40%. So it's going to be one of the two. He might just go to a 79 overall just because it's still early in the season. Might hit even a 78 overall because it's still early in the season. So I'll break it down like this. I'll put 30%. Or actually, I'll put 40% at 78 overall, 40% at 79 overall, and then 20% at 80 overall for him. Next on our list is one I want you all to keep an eye on because he does have a start tomorrow. And how he performs in that start will dictate whether or not he does go ahead and get a humongous upgrade or just a good enough upgrade. His name is Patrick Corbin. His three-year averages has been a 9.05 hits per nine. Case per nine of 9.16, walks per nine of 2.87, and home runs per nine of 1.04. This year, his hits per nine is a 6.71, case per nine of 10.74, walks per nine of 1.65, and home runs per nine is the only thing that he has suffered in, which is a 1.38. Now, I see the hits per nine going up, case per nine going up, and also walks per nine going up. I see him only hitting an 84 overall, but if he throws a gem tomorrow or whenever his next start is before Wednesday, then it is possible that he goes diamond. But honestly speaking, I only see two players going diamond, and that's Cody Bellinger and Trevor Bauer. So Patrick Corbin, I have 75% him going to an 84 overall, and then 25% him going to diamond. It's possible, but I'd say it's not as likely. Next on our list is Frankie Montas. Now, his three-year averages are hits per nine of 10.5, well, excuse me, case per nine of 7.24, walks per nine of 3.71, home runs per nine of 1.3. This year, his hits per nine have improved to 7.76. He's improved his case per nine to an 8.07, improved walks per nine to a 2.48, and home runs per nine have been improved to a 1.24. I see his hits per nine being increased, his case per nine being minorly increased, and his walks per nine being increased. I see him going up to 68, 69 overall. 
Next on our list is a pitcher that has been a stud so far this season. And I'm still surprised he didn't get an update in the previous roster update. But he's more than deserving. He's a common right now. His name is John Gant or Gant. Now, his three year averages hits per nine is an 8.1, case per nine a 7.59, walks per nine a 4.32, home runs per nine a 0.89. Now, listen to this. His hits per nine this year is a 2.49, case per nine an 8.35, walks per nine a 3.44, and his home runs per nine is a 0.98. So I see his hits per nine being increased, his case per nine being increased minorly and his walks per nine being increased minorly. Now, if you have stacked up on him and you have over 300 John Gantz, which I know a subscriber of mine has over 300 of him, then you're looking to make some pretty good exchanges. If you do use them for exchanges or if you use them for team affinities, whatever you do use them for, you're gonna be making a pretty good amount of points towards exchanges or even if you go ahead and quick sell them you should be making a good amount or sell them in the community market but i would use that to do exchanges 100 percent, especially if he goes up to 72 73 overall that is perfect for exchanges but who knows we'll see i have him going up or i had him going up to 66 67 overall but honestly he's pitching so well he might hit the 70s Next on our list is Amir Garrett. Now, Amir Garrett, his three-year averages have been hits per nine, 8.86, case per nine, 9.02, walks per nine, a 4.31, and home runs per nine, a 2.02. This year, his hits per nine have been a 4.82, so clearly improved. His case per nine, a 9.26, so improved slightly. Walks per nine, a 3.86, so he's improved there. And his home runs per nine, a 0.77, so he's improved there as well. I see his hits per nine being improved, his walks per nine being minorly improved, and his home runs per nine being minorly improved as well. I had him going all the way up to silver last week. This week, I have him dropping down to 73 overall bronze. Next on our list is Kirby Yates. Now, this guy is a stud. And I'm surprised not that many people have been keeping a close eye on him because he is just pitching phenomenally. Now, his three-year averages have been hits per nine, a 7.11, Ks per nine, a 12.75, walks per nine, a 3.02, and his home runs per nine, a 1.17. This year, his hits per nine is a six, so that's improved. Ks per nine is a 13.8, so that's a humongous improvement. Even though it's only 1.3, it's still humongous, or I should say 1.05. It's still a humongous improvement as opposed to having 13 strikeouts a game to 14 strikeouts a game. That is phenomenal, especially for a closer. And then his walks per nine is a three, which has improved by 0 0.02. And then his home runs per nine is a zero. So what I see being upgraded for him is his hits per nine, caves per nine, and home runs per nine. I see him going up to an 83 0 83 to 84 overall. I don't see him going diamond just yet. I think if he continues this performance in the middle of the season, he is a for sure lock in for diamond. But right now, you should keep an eye on his performance towards the rest of the season because definitely one of the closers that has it in him to go diamond without a doubt. Next on our list is Adam Morgan. Adam Morgan this year or I should say his three-year averages have been hits per nine a 10, case per nine an 8.57, walks per nine a 2.86, home runs per nine a 1.49. This year, his hits per nine is a 3.53, case per nine a 10.13, walks per nine a 1.69, and his home runs per nine is a zero. So I see his hits per nine being increased, his case per nine being increased, walks per nine being increased, home runs per nine being increased. I see him going up to 74 overall with the possibility of hitting a 75 overall. I have it at 60% 74 overall and then 40% 75 overall. Keep an eye on him, how he performs in the next couple of games until Wednesday is going to be crucial to whether or not he gets that 74 or 75 overall. Last but not least, we have Tehran Guerrero. And his three-year averages have been hits per nine, 9.9, .9, case per nine, 10.2, walks per nine, 4.5, home runs per nine, a 1.2. Now, this year, he's improved his hits per nine greatly. It's a 4.09, case per nine have improved slightly, being a 10.64, and his walks per nine have decreased big time, being a 5.73. So he needs to work on that control in order to get an even, an even bigger jump in terms of overall, but his home runs per nine is a zero. So what I see being improved is his hits per nine, his case per nine minorly, and then his home runs per nine as well. I see him going up to 67, 68 overall, and that is it for our pitcher 
roster update predictions once again if you did enjoy the video make sure you you hit that like button red subscribe button you can follow me on all social medias and direct message me if you have any questions and also make sure you guys support all the other content on this channel it would mean a lot anyways i'll catch you all in the next one peace out